Hey guys, Pat here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And today I'm going to grind some corn into cornmeal with our country living grain mill. And we grew a little bit of corn last year and dried it. And today I've just uh, started to remove some of the corn off the cob and removing some of the chaff away from the away from the shut corn. So I wanted to show you a little bit of what, what I got here and from start to finish and this is the first time that we've done this so you're learning it right along with me. So I'm going to demonstrate what I've been doing uh, just in case you guys are interested in getting getting a grain mill at some point. So this is supposed to be a multi-purpose corn. It's glass gem that we tried last year. It's a popcorn it's supposed to be a good just eating corn and good for making meal with as well. In order to take the corn off of the cob uh, you have to make sure that it's dry. Like I say this has been dried for a year and you just take your hand and work it back and forth like that and once you start getting it you can work it with your thumb. Once you get it to a certain point you can just start twisting your hand around like that, you know, around in your hand like so, and just remove that, it just should come right off of the cob. You just start from one end and work in. See how fast that works. Seems like if you start from the small end and then work in towards the base of the uh, corn cob, it seems to work a little easier. And then after after I get done doing this particular process, I just kind of roll this, uh, obviously my hands are clean, and I just roll the, kind of crush the corn, or rub the corn together. If a guy had a little tumbler or something like that, he could run it through a tumbler um, but after this then you can take a fan or something like that and take and set it right here and just just blow all the chafe off of the corn take and do this and blow normally you do this outside so you're not blowing it all over the house but I just wanted to demonstrate on what what I'm doing here to make this happen. Okay guys here we are at the grain mill and here are the components for the corn uh, attachment here. You will have an auger, you'll have two shear pins here for your keyway, keyway shear pins and you have the auger spring. This couples up with uh, of course the wear plate the washers and the adjustment knob that goes on the end. So we'll be replacing the spring for this particular operation and the auger. So here's a close-up of the hopper without the spring and auger. And here is the inside grinding plate and the rotating shaft assembly. I put the keyway at 12 o'clock or in totally vertical. So the next thing I put in, or the first thing that I put in is the auger spring. Next I put in the two short little keyways Next I put the auger in and there's only one way to put that auger in. This goes to the outside and this goes to the inside. So the spring actually recesses into the auger itself. And the other thing to keep, keep in mind is the keyway. The keyway has to go in to accommodate the uh, shear pins or, or keys. 
I just rotate that around until it falls into place with the keyways. Next goes the grinding plate. It also has a keyway. Then you put on the two washers. And then the tightening knob. This, uh, this knob is going to regulate your coarse or fine on your grinding. So the manufacturer tells you to tighten this up and you want to make sure that that falls into the keyway, the, the grinding plate falls into the keyway. So make sure that the back side of the auger comes up flush to the two washers on the back side. So the spring is totally subdued. So they say the proper way to set up your set up your mill when you're changing off your augers and grinding plates and such is you want to have the have the gr uh, grinding plates where you can just hear them touching each other. And then you can you can actually adjust the knob counterclockwise in order to make a coarser grind. So we're looking to make um, we're actually looking to make cornmeal so that'll be a little coarser. So what I'm going to do is I want to rotate this back maybe one full turn and then just see how that see how that grinds uh, see how that grinds in the corn. And we have our corn that we harvested last year. Um, and so I'll go ahead and pour that into the auger. Now again, we have, I have a 1750 RPM motor back here. The manufacturer recommends that you don't go over 75 RPM. You know, when you're grinding, I think the biggest concern about the slower RPM is the friction that you're causing inside of your grinding plates at a higher RPM you're going to have more friction and you're going to have potential burning or scoring of your your wheat or whatever it is you're grinding through here thus far we haven't had any problems but the manufacturer puts that information in the manual for a reason. Let's go ahead and get started and see what we can come up with on this. And I put this th thicker maple block underneath here and then a square receptacle and that way you make a little bit less of a mess when it comes to grinding the corn and the wheat. <laughs> Now you can make this coarse, more coarse or more fine by by turning for turning the tightening knob here uh, clockwise for a more finer grind and counterclockwise for a coarser grind. So Mama Rain uh, took a look at the coarseness of the cornmeal and she wants it just a little bit finer. So I'm going to go ahead and run this through again without making any adjustments through it and see how a, a next grinding uh, fares on, on the grinding of the cornmeal. Okay, as you can see up close, the uh, grindings are just a little bit more uniform. There's Mama Rain in here too do the big final test here. 
And I like it coarse, but that's still just a little too coarse. A little too coarse? Yeah, because you got to have your, your cornbread's not going to hold together if it's too coarse. Okay, so maybe I'll tighten up the plates a little bit. Tighten the plates up maybe a half a turn. And run it through again. So one thing I want, might want to add is that you don't want to run the auger, you don't want to run the plates and everything against each other when they don't have any material to grind inside there. Just the plates grinding on themselves is, uh, is not so good. Um, it'll cause them to wear out faster. So the last couple of turns, the last few little grains that are in the auger, um, I just, you know, you can just turn it by hand. Some people would still find that really coarse, but that's how I like it right there. It's perfect. Perfect, she says. I like it. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like we got something right, guys. Hope this helps out some folks if you're looking around for a grain mill. This is, we've been really happy with this one. I know there's a lot of good ones out there. But anyways, we had a special request on grinding corn. And so we used the corn auger that came with the mill. And this is the first time using it. So anyway, hope this helps you guys out. Take care and God bless. <music>